Hello and welcome. My name is Shalimar Blazinger, and I am doing a small tutorial here, as I couldn't find one on YouTube at all about how to do the current uh, gen the generator currently for Edge of Space. So I'm here going to do one. This is my very first uh, video. I'm thinking about doing more. I don't know, but please go easy. I I do understand that the sound may sound a little grainy. I do apologize. I'm using a system that is all in one, so please bear with me with it. Um, I just got a new headset. I can use a few options of what's what systems I can use that are at this point free. Um, Thanks to one of my friends, uh, Chozo Nomad. Um, he's actually got me into recording and stuff. So, as I said, this is my first, first actual video. So, let's start. So, the first thing you're gonna notice is that my base. I I have a mix of doors. I have the clay doors here, and then I have these doors, which run off a single button. It's all nice and handy um, because I can just easily push a button and the door opens. So, but if you notice that in my inventory, you will notice that I have all these nice little items up here. These are what's going to control your. Um, well, depending on how good you are, these are what this is what's going to control your system. So I have that one, and I'll be explaining these here as well. All right, so. Let's start off with this one I just placed a while ago. That is your OR gate. That's probably the most common gate you're going to have to actually change stuff in your base. So it works well. Um, it powers the system that it powers. And all that you have your NAND gate, your RAM gate, your XOR, XNOR gate, NOR gate, AND gate, NOT gate, and XOR gate. Now, one of you guys would be probably thinking, "Hey, all one a few of those that you named off should put out more than one output node, right?" As much as I, as much as as I would like to agree with you on that one and say yes they don't which kinda sucks so as you noticed I can't open two of my doors because well they don't have power um, so with that let's actually start the tutorial in full so if you press Z or P they both do the same thing you can easily see that I have a small system already. You can see that I have track lighting up here that sadly doesn't produce a lot of light but it produces some. In low areas like my storage unit that would actually work out wonderfully. Uh, however, as I said, I don't have that hooked up yet. Um, so, if you noticed, the generator is always going to be status and on. And each one is going to be a relay of some sort or another. And I have three switches. I have the these two relays here. I have my three doors. And I have my switches for them. So, if we do a simple system. I'm going to unhook this lighting here. Just to show you what everything looks like off. Also, if you move... Yeah, that's going to be a fun one, because it takes you out of the mode. So, alright, so you notice that my generator has three. Well, 
I'm not sure if that changes or anything, but um, it may. I haven't tested that yet, so if you've tested it, tested it, please leave me a comment. I do read them from time to time, um, but I do know that in order to find out where the best p spot to put your generator, you need one of these little bad boys. It is a radiant energy scanner. Now, the way this works is if I fire this up at the ceiling here, you can see that it's just green, 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 green. Okay? Now, if I... Alright. So, in order to hook something up, boom, positive is negative. And that was my reload key. I keep forgetting what button that was. So as you notice, that one's green, 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 green. So if I go down here, fire this thing right down on my feet. Purple, and there's actually some orange in the middle of where that generator is sitting. So to be fully honest, I don't know if that has any current bearing on whether or not you can produce more power or not. As I said, I haven't tested that yet. Uh, please bear with me as I don't know if that changes the outcome or not. But there is a different, definite uh, color pattern from going from an area with high abundant energy to an area with low abundant energy. I'm thinking it does. As I said, I haven't tested that. So with that, you're going to need um, a generator to start off that's easily crafted from your power module and here you can create your generators, your gates, your relays, your controllers and and certain other controls like you can have letters, a player pressure sensor and special characters like period, space, bar, well period, underscore, exclamation point, question mark, and all that fun stuff. So if we go up to the generator, you're going to need a few materials. Yes, you can build out of mud. And a crab shell. Don't ask me why. This may get changed. This is an alpha. So, alpha or beta 1 or 2. But it can easily, this can easily change to actually needing more specialized materials. Which would put it later game. And hard, harder to make. So let's just create okay, create one. I guess I'll be testing this here now. So, in order to place this sucker, as you can see, it's huge. You can't scale it up. You can't scale it down. It is massive. So let's find an area. Well, that area looks good. I just have to make sure I clear my area and actually put up uh, stonework. So this goes right there. You press Z or P. Ooh, well, that's good to know. So, apparently, you need a high abundant energy, like where that generator is sitting right now, for the generator to actually be on. So, that's good to know. Um, yeah, that's actually really good to know. Um,. Yeah. So you place on generator. Normally, the generator would be on, but then that area where there's no energy at all, the generator is off. And it looks like the generator will only ever create three power at most. So, depending on your energy level of where you land, will determine how many of these are lit. So, if you're on a low air, low abundant area, air, energy area, you're only going to get one, maybe two, depending on the energy level. Whereas where I'm sitting right now, I get the full three. 
Uh, I haven't really tested that theory yet, but I need to find an area that has energy to do that. So let's take this silly thing down and put it away. Alright, so you need to start hooking up. Um, at that point, you need to go click on your generator. Just so you know, in order to hook up, you need to be positive to Nick. Get sorry about that. That's gonna be annoying. You need to hook it up from positive to negative. So, as you can see, my track lane just turned all on again. Alright, energy, come on, go away. Go, shoot. Anyways. And that was one node, and as you can see, I got a lot of lights on. I actually got a switch on, which I can go from positive to there, to negative on the door, and voila, my door opens up again. Now, these are powered doors. You can easily find them in your facility under yeah under utility right here at the bottom same thing to create as a lot of them and you also have your track lighting as well um, you have also your beacons I haven't created these yet I'm not sure if they do have some powered if they do, then there's another item that you have to power just to find out where your, your where your main base is. But it's short range, so I just use the command center here, put it where I want, and then go down to it. So now that you know how to hook up power, let's take a look at these again. So as you noticed. Some have three inputs and one output, and some only have two inputs and one output. And yes, all of them have only one output. I agree with you, the, uh, or the OR gate here should have more than one. It should have like two or three, depending on what you're controlling. But currently, it doesn't, they all only have one, which makes them pretty useless. Uh, the only, the only main reason you should be using an OR gate is if you're hooking up, like, two switches, one on each side, like, I have a switch here, if I want to hook up another switch here, I can easily do that. And they both have to be powered to the gate so that way you can easily say be like okay so I have my switches hooked up to that gate like actually let's do uh, this one here for example so let's get rid of that line alright so in order to get to my command center my negative is hooked up to my positive on my gate and let's say I want this switch to go to that one. And this switch to go to that one as well. Now, each of the switches have a different ability. So, but we still have to nonetheless hook them up with some power so let's go ahead go to my single pair unit here and actually hook these two guys up to that unit because it makes my power system a little bit more complicated but not too bad so. oops
All right. So, with an OR gate. shut there we go so as you can see it works great with pressure plates because um, pressure plates are only a little signal whereas a small signal whereas switches are a permanent signal so temporary versus permanent depending on what you want you can easily set up pressure place on the outside of your doors to heat them up to allow you to walk out but still being being able to hook up the wiring with it easy use. so with that if I go ahead and turn this one on as you can see, I can go down to my command center. I can flip the switch again and shut the door. I can also leave. Well, let's say I'm running from enemies and I need to get in quick, so I can hit that button real quick. I can hit this button as I'm running. Jump down in here. Craft a gun real quick. Pop back up and start killing them. <clears throat> yes, I do have a gun on me. Please don't hit me on that one. I just don't have it on because, of, as I said, I'm doing a tutorial. I'm doing a small power tutorial. Alright, so with that, that is the extent I know. Um, feel free to leave comments if you know how to actually produce more power or less power, but this is the current power system of it. So, I'm Shalomar Blazinger. Fly safe and have fun.